Undaunted by the driving rain, a sea of faces awaited at the Palisados Airport the arrival of a living legend. For some, he was the King of Kings, the Lion of Judah, even a god. But to most, he was a mild-mannered monarch who had won the respect and admiration of Jamaicans. The air was charged with excitement as anxious, expectant faces searched the skies for the first glimpse of the great silver bird that would bring their hero to Jamaican soil for the first time. The Rastafarians, who are easily distinguished by their long beards and unshorn locks, and who worship this figure as a deity, were present in full force. rousing, boisterous, tumultuous welcome ever given to any visiting or local celebrity, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia, arrived. The crowd erupted into a frenzy of rejoicing as they broke through the lines of soldiers and police and surged out onto the tarmac, eager to engulf the Emperor with their affection. ceremonial welcome that was planned had to be abandoned as the avalanche of men, women and children swept away all semblance of order. Ethiopia a monarchy on the eastern side of Africa has been governed since 1930 by Haile Selassie, whom history records as being a direct descendant of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Jamaica was among the places visited by His Imperial Majesty on his tour of the Caribbean area. Huge crowds jostled for choice vantage points all along the route in the hope of seeing the emperor. Stadium was the scene of the civic welcome extended by the government of Jamaica to His Imperial Majesty. into the council chamber. The emperor's address to the assembly and people of Jamaica was in his native Amharic and was translated by a member of his party. I had always wished to come and visit Jamaica. Now, thank God, this wish of mine has been fulfilled. Upon arrival to Jamaica, I have seen more than I had expected. I have seen the progress of the people, and I have seen their determination to march forward in unity towards greater progress. I have also witnessed personally the extent of the feeling of the Jamaican people to the Ethiopian people. Again, I wish to take this opportunity 
of expressing my thanks to the government in peace yes. of Jamaica for the paternal reception that was accorded to me.